and welcome to today's vlog. I'm super excited today. We have a few exciting things that are happening. First one is actually that Parker went back to the gym for the first time the in like months. It was so nice. Like yeah. starting out your morning, going to the gym. I used to love doing that every day. Yeah. Not doing it for a while got me in a little bit of a rut, you know? Yeah. It I feels got a nice little, to go back. Get a little pump. workout at home. So yeah. that was good. Yeah, I just did mine upstairs. <laughs> While Co like played around and was like climbing all over me and climbing all over stuff. Anyways, that was a good start to the day. And then we actually just finished up lunch. We had some leftovers, which I always say is the best lunch because it's so easy. Every time we cook dinner every night, we always make enough for the next day. So just had a quick, easy lunch. Did you like it? Yeah, she loved it. Look at your hair. Her hair is in like the most awkward phase where it's still too short. Oh my gosh, I swear I've wiped her like seven times. And then I look at her and there's like a new like spot of like pasta sauce on her. But yeah, her hair, I'm waiting for it to get long enough that I can do like a little ponytail or like two little ponytails or something. But right now it's like a little too long. Like she can still wear a bow, but the hair kind of just like goes over it. So sometimes it looks a little funky. So we are patiently waiting for her hair to grow out a little bit. I did just get a bunch of clothes for her from Amazon. So I'm excited to show you guys those today. I need to like gather them all up and I'll do a little mini haul. And then what else? Oh, I'm actually actually going to see Lauren's new puppy. She is getting a puppy and she can take the puppy home I think in like a couple weeks. It has to be like two pounds. It's a little toy poodle. Two pounds is so tiny. It's only gonna be like five or six pounds. So I'm gonna go meet her puppy today and I don't think I'll bring the camera but I'll film a couple clips on my phone when I get to see the cute little pup. Yes, that is our plan for the day. Now Parker is gonna take over. Okay, so I am taking over because I wanted to show you guys some of the new cases that we just got from Casetify. Casetify is sponsoring today's video. If you haven't heard of them and you haven't seen any of our other videos with them, they are a tech accessory brand. So they have phone cases, custom phone cases. You can actually go on and customize them, which is really cool. And then they also have things like face masks, really high quality face masks too. These are the reusable ones. If you watched our last video with them, they sent us this really cool UV light sterilizer that you put your phone in and turn it on and it kills all the germs on it. And I put it in our bathroom. I like to put my phone in it every morning. Anyways, I wanted to show you guys some of the cases that they sent us. This one is one of Aspen's favorites. I don't know if you guys know, but Aspen loves unicorns. I actually think this would be a good one for a gift for Lauren, because yeah. Aspen and her friend Lauren have like a something going on with unicorns where they get each other unicorn stuff. So we also got this one. Who doesn't love a cute Frenchie? That one's really cool. And then this one, which I went on and customized, it's really cool because you can go on and design this and put any logo, like anything you want on this. It's actually really cool because on top of you being able to customize it, it's military grade. So you kind of get like the best of both worlds. You know, most military grade phone cases are really bulky and ugly, but these ones are really stylish and they look good. To show you guys how durable these cases really are, I'm gonna do a little drop test. I'm gonna do it with this Coco one because it is the highest level of protection. So. This thing is drop rated for up to 6.6 .6 feet, which is really high. I'm gonna show you guys my phone first so you can see nothing wrong with it in perfectly good condition. See, I'm only like 5'7", so I'm gonna drop it from above my head. You ready? Ah, it hurts me inside, but Look at that, nothing wrong with my phone. So if you guys wanna get 20% off your first phone case, go to casetify.com slash Aspen and Parker. They have a huge selection of phone cases that you can choose from, and then they, you can also go in and customize it if you wanna make your own, which is really cool. So thank you again to Casetify for sponsoring today's video. The link is also in the description. Okay, I thought I'd show you guys really quick how I like to make our thumbnails. I decided to change them up. It's been like quite a few months now, but I was like, okay, why are our thumbnails not that cute? So I'll show you guys what I do. So I've used PicMonkey for literally so many years and it's nice because they have like a new, I don't even really know what it's called, like interface. I have no idea. Anyways, it like saves your projects and stuff. It's so nice. My sister also uses my account, so she has a few things on here, but I have, they're kind of like templates that I've made. So this one has like two pictures. This one has three. This one has like one big picture. And then this one is for my main channel, which I haven't uploaded on in forever because it is too hard to do it all with a baby. But anyways, so I just click this. I edit the image and then I have my little thing right here. Hey, did you just get your hair done? Oh, she still has sauce on her face. Does she? A lot. You look like a crazy baby. But anyway, so then I just go on and delete my last 
picture that's on here. These ones are like from a thumbnail a really long time ago. Basically, they're just like the base of the template, but they're not actually like supposed to be, if that makes sense. So then I just go on and add my pictures. And I usually do mostly iPhone pictures for our thumbnails just because it's easier. And then I just put them in place, stretch them to the right size. And then I just like update my text. So I'm like also not looking at what I'm even filming. So I'm trying to just like do this. So hopefully you guys can even see. And then I also have some colors like pre-saved on here. It saves like your recently used. So it's so nice. I usually don't change them though because I like alternate. Well, I guess I will change them. I usually try to alternate like what our thumbnails look like. If it has like two pictures or three or one or whatever. So then the text would also be alternating. Okay, so father day with a baby. I think I'll move the text to down here. That's pretty much it. It's so fast. This is like a little thing that I have in here. So you can see all of my layers right here. So I have like my two pictures and then that's like the thing separating it and then just my text and stuff. And yeah, everything is like pre-saved and it's so nice. So it's super easy. It used to take me a long time to do thumbnails. Now it takes me like only a few minutes to do a thumbnail now, which is amazing. So yeah, I randomly was like, oh, I should show them how I do that. So I'm gonna finish this. I need to just adjust it a little bit and then and save it and then I'm gonna gather up the clothes that I got for Cove and I will show you guys a little haul. Okay, I gathered everything up. I'm trying to decide if I wanna like read off the prices of everything, but I don't think I'm going to because I just made like an Amazon storefront. So I'll link that for you guys and it has like all my favorite, hi. It has like a bunch of products and stuff that I have from there and lots of like baby clothes and stuff So you can just click on that and then click on baby clothes and all of these should be on there But I wanted to show you guys a few things because I found some for super inexpensive I feel like pretty much everything was like under $15. So I don't remember for sure I feel like these ones might have been like $16 But everything pretty much was like 15 or less I feel like so I'll show you guys the little sets I got first I actually got these in bigger sizes because they are my favorite So first one I got is these cute shorts with the matching top and she actually this is probably for like a two-year-old but she has quite a few sets that look like this um excuse me excuse me hey you cute oh don't touch it though don't touch it yeah so this is the first outfit and then i actually got that in literally four other colors because they were so cheap but she already has these two and i wanted to get i think this is like 18 months maybe but i wanted to have the next like size up because she wears these literally all the time super cute super soft so this one's like a little bit of a darker blue girl you in the hall so oh my goodness so yeah i got that kind of darker color and then i also got this pink color so she already has these two colors but literally they're like some of her most worn outfits so i got that and then the like lighter blue color and then where are the other ones there's two more all right you gotta get a little bit out of the way okay next well she moved the camera okay so then i have two more colors which now that i'm thinking about it i kind of ordered these like a while ago and they've all taken a little bit of time to come some of them came fast some of them came slower but i got her the same set again in white with a pink border and white with a blue border when she was little she could wear white and it like didn't matter because she didn't really spill anything on herself but now that she eats all her white clothes get super messy maybe by the time she fits in those she'll be a little more clean anyways yeah i literally have like five of these because they're super inexpensive and my favorite outfits for her to wear so yeah i got those and then i'm super excited about this cute set that i got i think it came in a few different colors and i'm gonna have her wear this to the beach i feel like i might have shown this one but i don't remember actually how cute is that i cannot wait for her to wear this one i think it's so fun and then what other sets did we get i have these two little like tie-dye sets i'm not like obsessed with these the quality is not that great obviously these are like super inexpensive i feel like the rest of everything else feels pretty good for being inexpensive but her pjs she normally has are from shop plain jane and they're like the most comfy best pjs ever so i kind of hate to like put her in these when she has so many other comfy things but they're super cute they came in quite a few different colors it's just like a little tie-dye set and i think these ones also are a little bit big for her she has the extra oh yeah it's 18 to 24 months 
right now she doesn't really wear pants and a top to bed because it's too hot but i got her the pink color and i also got her the blue color and it does have this little like sticker on it that's not like that noticeable but it's kind of big so i wanted to see if i could take a seam picker and like take that off but yeah those are super fun so i got those and then i also got her this cute little bikini for the beach i was looking all over for baby bikinis and i like couldn't find anything so this one has cute little ruffly bottoms and this also came in like a bunch of different styles like a different bikini a one piece i think it was like another one piece like four different styles total but it's a cute little like baby bikini so i'm so excited for her to wear that to the beach so i got her that and then i actually got her this which she only wore once and then i was like wait that's actually way too big but it's a little set so it has this bodysuit and then these flare pants so she'll have to wear this when she's quite a bit bigger and then i have a couple little like rompery pieces so this is the first one that i got so this one's blue and just has a little like tie in the middle so that one's super fun a lot of these also came in like a bunch of different colors so i also got this super basic cute pink one it has like double straps and then they cross in the back and it also has the little snaps for easy diaper changes which is the most important thing i would never buy an outfit if it didn't have those unless it was for like a really special occasion where she was only gonna wear it for like not that long but she wore this cute one the other day i think i got nine to twelve months in this and it's really 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 small we did wash and dry it but still it like runs very small but it's a cute little white ruffle sleeve jumpsuit and then this ties in the front so she wore that for her 10 month pictures i think and it was so cute and then i got this which actually said it was a swimsuit and it is not it doesn't have like a swim lining or anything it's literally just the fabric and they also sent me the wrong color so i was pretty disappointed with this one but it still is cute for like a little bodysuit this actually looks like it's gonna be too small for her i should try and put that on her i haven't put it on her because i was annoyed that it wasn't like what it said it was gonna be because it's not a swimsuit but yeah, cute little baby bodysuit that says it's a swimsuit, but it's not. That one I think came in three colors. So yeah, I have a couple other things that are coming, but some of them have taken a really long time to ship. So that's everything for now. And I'll have these on my Amazon storefront for you guys. But yeah, lots of cute stuff for pretty inexpensive. Usually I honestly spend like a good amount of money on Cope's clothes because I get them from like small shops and stuff. But I decided to try out some of the cheaper ones. And I'm pretty like, I feel like you kind of get what you pay for, but especially with like these, sets they are really really soft and really inexpensive ah. Okay, so Aspen is upstairs getting ready and filming some sponsorships she has to do, but we came downstairs to play on Cove's Jungle Gym. I don't know if you guys saw the video. It's been a couple weeks, but we got this Jungle Gym for her. She's still a little too young for it, but she still enjoys, you know, climbing around it and stuff. So we're down here hanging out on the Jungle Gym. This little fort is, guys. Got a little entrance in. Whoa. Is that fun, Co? What are you doing? Are you trying to go out the back door? Is that fun? Oh. <laughs> hey! Look how cute! Oh my gosh, guys, she's so, so tiny. I feel like you just can't even tell like, on video or pictures how small she is, but she's such a cute little sweet puppy. So it is now the end of the vlog and it's also time for the hashtag Parker Super Secret Show. Today's question is from simply Emily. Emily said, congrats on the new house. Are y'all gonna rent it out or Airbnb it while you're not using it? In the city that we got our second home, they have an ordinance where you're only allowed to Airbnb or short time rental in certain areas of the city. And the house that we bought, because Aspen really wanted to be in this one specific area, it is not in one of the zoned areas where we can rent it out or Airbnb it. The long answer is no, we're not going to rent it out short term because we can't. I think maybe eventually if we aren't using it as much, we might rent it out long term, like have a family that leases it for a full year. We might do that, but for now it's just our place to go 
and stay and enjoy some warm weather. So if you guys want your question answered, make sure you comment down below with your question and the hashtag Parker Super Secret Show and maybe I will read it and answer it in the next vlog. I also wanted to say thank you again to Casetify for sponsoring today's video. Make sure you guys go to casetify.com slash Aspen and Parker to get 20% off. The link is also in the description. That's all for today's vlog, so we will see you in our next one. Bye, guys. Bye.